So we'll start right with this room right here. Now this room is set up for a corporate meeting tomorrow that we're going to have, but this is uh, our courtside club. So if you're Jack Nicholson and you're here, this is yeah. your room. This is, where, this you is where you come. This you're you're going to sit on the floor on the, uh, at the, and then you're going to come in here and this is where you're going to. Yeah. And it's right there, so you walk right in. We have the ability to put uh, all four games that ESPN's got on at any given time. We can put them all, cut it up, or we awesome. can put it all in one. An enjoyable room for those clientele to be able to come in here, socialize, yeah. they do business in here, have fun. It, again, it's designed to be intimate. Yeah. Right here, you're on the floor. You're, you're a fan, you're a student, you are right here. No barriers, nothing but connection to the game. Right. And, and we really wanted to ensure that that was a critical piece of it. So you'll see the new seats on the, on the end, how they're cantilevered over. So there was used to be a wall there and there was no seats up there. So having that cantilever over and then these seats here, again, cantilevering yeah. over the student section towards the floor. And the, the corners, again, angled over tight awesome. and it is a part of, of what's going on. We have seven million light bulbs in our LED signage wow. in the arena. Yeah, this is awesome too. So if we wanna if we wanna put you into a, a, a crazy stage of energy, we can do it with lights. The, when you see the lights on tomorrow, they're turned to about 20% of the actual brightness. Now the floor that's in is a permanent floor. This is an NBA floor. It's in all the time. It never comes up and right. it never goes back down. It's down all the time, that's and right. we wanted to do that intentionally. So we play volleyball in here, and, but it, this is a basketball venue with the floor always in. I love the colors and like the logo and the mascot, you know, they just, it's just kind of like, you really get into it, you know what I mean? It's just like Well, we wanted it to be pretty simple neat, yeah. and, and yet uh, very traditional without a bunch of silliness on our floor. Let's play basketball. Sure, We're sure. the 14th all time winning us basketball program in the country. We just hit 18, 1,801 wins now, yep. 14th all time. We wanted the floor to, to represent that. So the uh, courtside chairs uh, are too deep so it's here two again. Rows. Two you rows. You see that. So like the ones, the one in the back, are a little bit higher up, so you could see. A, right. A That's an there. NBA model that yeah. we we were inspired to to put together on that. Okay. And back to intimacy. The intimacy of these loge boxes, we believe, is uh, arguably the best experience you can have as a college oh, wow. basketball fan. So again, intimacy, you are close to the action. You can sit in your executive chair, roll around like you're sitting in your home. Wow. We've got the TV here for you so you can watch the replays. You can watch another game if you'd like. This is great. You have your own refrigerator right here, your own food. And these are your seats here. These are your these seats. Are right these here. are your seats. So this is your loge box. Four in this box. Four in your loge box, okay. right. And it's really popular with uh, many of our donors that have grandkids because they can kind of mill around a little bit, yeah. move, and it's, it's a great experience. Yeah, but look how close you are. I know, it's right here. You know, and when you have the, the ability to see the replays and all that, right. this, this is the, a premium experience for college basketball. This, this is as good as it gets. So here's our Champions Club. Again, if you played on the Final Four team or coached and played on a national championship team, your name is on that pillar, wow. as a part of that pillar. And uh, uh, this, is, this is a fun room, and it, it serves as a wonderful place for corporate meetings, meetings across campus during the day, different things. Uh, that's obviously having a big picture of Kenyon is terrific. Yeah. We were big fans of Kenyon yep. and what he did here. Uh, coach Huggins' pillar is this one right here. We have three of our coaches currently featured. We have room for more, so we hopefully awesome. uh, will be able to feature Mick up there. And coach Huggins, when he was here, did a great job. He said he looked at this and he said, "Boy, I should have been in movies." <laughs> yeah, right. But those are some really <laughs> handsome pictures yeah, of Coach so Huggins and student section. Again, you can see they're right on top of it. They're together. Uh, they stand the whole game, so we didn't put permanent seats in there, so we can actually add Same some extra people, people in, in there, right. yeah, which yeah, we yeah, like. Yeah. You are right on and top it's on of the action. Sides. Yes. Yep. We're going to go look at that uh, over there, but that bar, or as I like to say, beverage station, has sure. the actual old floor in it. Oh, yeah. You can see it right That's on the it. Wall over there. And you're going to yeah. see it again in the locker room. That's cool. That is the actual floor, so if you want to.
They had built into the bar. That's where Kenyon played Coach Huggins' first game when he beat Minnesota. This is it. This is the real McCoy, and our fans enjoy this. That's great. It's a lot of fun, and, and how they had the curved sense of what they're doing, and then they have yeah. the put it into the counter That's awesome. as well. So this is an extremely popular place. It's a de destination for fans to meet and hang out. So it's called the Overlook Bar because you overlook the baseball stadium. So it's really fun to be Look able to just this. come up and hang out and, right. hey, what's going on with Coach Guggins and the baseball program and the home of Ian Happ and the home of uh, some incredible great Bearcats, Josh yeah. Harrison and... and uh, right field. Uh, yeah. You can open this up and catch some Kevin, balls. Kevin Euclid. That's right, you. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. So they go, hey, what are the, how'd those guys do what that? Facility? I mean, this so is this, awesome. Huh? So this is really a fun spot again. Lots of people, hey, I'll meet you in the Overlook Bar. Got you know, it. and so this is where you meet. Yeah. You know this guy right here? Walked on the moon. I think his name's Armstrong. It tributes to everybody. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't you? But as you can see, these are all the different key um, areas of the, of the oh, community. Yeah. It's not lit right now, but that's obviously a, a Queens Tierra, Queen City bar because obviously Cincinnati is known as the Queen City. Yep. So everybody can say, oh yeah, I'm, um, I'm from Price Hill, or yeah, you know, I live over in Hyde Park, yeah. Right. So this, is, this has been a fun, this, is this has been a fun uh, bar to have for us. And so anybody can be up here. Anybody, come up here and help yourself. Yeah. That, uh, that's another thing. I don't believe we've created so many exclusive areas no. that Joe Fan doesn't feel like, hey, if, you're a, if you bought a standing room only ticket, Walk up here and get right. something well, and be you're a part right of the deal. The people in the boxes, actually, so you're right there. You feel good about yeah, it, yeah. Exactly. You don't have to feel like, no. well, oh, they don't respect me because I. No, right. you're right. in. You're a part of it. Right. You're in. You're right. with us. Let's right. have some fun. This serves as our arena club, ah. so if you're on this side, okay. you have access yeah. to this. So right. special food uh, opportunities, yep. uh, beverages, adult beverages, obviously, yeah, and your ability so to come in here, but. Starting on Monday, it'll be the first time we actually will have classes in here. Oh, really? This serves as a classroom as well. Oh, you can wow. see the chalkboards or, yeah. or the grease boards are up for it. The projectors are up for class. <laughs> so, uh, so your class is like, you're in the arena. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we have the ability to convert these chairs and these tables into a classroom setting so that we can uh, actually have two classrooms. And the university, we really found, had a shortage of classrooms that could seat approximately 100 students. So we built gotcha. two of them. Yeah. So this is the men's locker room. That's great. So come on in, you can, you can see this. Let me see if we can get you some light. There you go. I was afraid that was gonna turn on. There you go. But uh, this area we really like here is because they could, this is their space. Yeah. If they wanna relax, they wanna take a nap, they wanna watch TV, you wanna play video games, you wanna watch a different show than your buddy, we've got two gen stations this is you want to get a snack you want to have something to eat i mean this stuff is huge these days right you know what it's like but it gets, yeah I mean, it does it. and they deserve yeah. all of this yes. and so we're really excited that they can come in here and get a snack or relax and uh we haven't cleaned up this from earlier when the, they're all put together but all their names are in their lockers cool. yeah. each locker has their own uh, power source to charge their their oh, yeah. toys and uh obviously the showers and restrooms here and the high shower heads oh yeah i know right how many hotels you go in oh yeah so these, these, you're a taller guy yeah. so you need that but those yeah, yeah. so but th this is this is fun and as i said the men's and the women's are identical to the square inch and Good. we're excited about that we've made a major commitment to women's basketball to go yeah. along with this right. uh, in hiring uh, michelle clark hurd who's phenomenal uh, she was the player of the year in high school in Kentucky. She was uh, part of the Final Four run at Louisville as an assistant. Mm -hmm. Took uh, Western Kentucky to the postseason six years in a row, four in the NCAA tournament, two to the NIT. She's our head coach. We're, we're really thrilled she's here. We've committed charter jets to the men and the women. Mm -hmm. we're, we are committed to uh, men's and women's basketball. And that doesn't even get into all the other sports, right. the commitments we've made, but that gives you an idea specifically about basketball, and, and that's why our investment's at a high level. I love this room. This room is awesome, you know, because coaches really are teaching. 
right? They're teachers. Right. So imagine teaching a class about what you do and, and, and your game day experience, being able to look everybody in the eye. Yeah. And once again, the floor. The oh, whole yeah. floor. So, over here so this is a smart board That's great. for us to be able to draw plays and do all the different things on watch you video. You've got to have this room. Yeah, you know. the sound in here. We can, we, yeah. can, uh, we can make your ears bleed in here if we want just to get, get you fired up and having fun and cool. letting them watch all the different things. Movies, we can do team nights in here, family nights. That's fun. Well, you have. You seem like you utilize these rooms and they're not being used for its actual purpose. You have to have other people in here. And, and well, when you have alignment across campus, great. you can do that. Right. This is a terrific room. Looks like they've already had a, a team meal in here. Uh, so they can come in here. Yeah, they can come in here and have a team meal. Or you want to do homework, you want to relax, right. you want to meet with just a couple of your buddies. You can come in here. We have food in here. And, and then the ability to hang out, watch TV. So th this is really a fun room, too. This is a place where student athletes, again, spend a lot of time. And uh, the ability to come in and have ice tubs and hot tubs right here is really great. So obviously we feel that it's full of water now. Just put ice in. It's probably pretty cold if you put your finger in it. Or is that the hot tub? Oh, yeah. Cold? That's cold. So you put ice in there. That's yeah. Cold. And you have, you have the ability to, to recover there. That one should be warm. No? Oh, it is warm. So it is hot. Yeah. It's like a hot tub. That's great. That's awesome. So this, is, this was a huge... It, uh, lift for us. We didn't have it. None of this. Right. Yeah, so you can see we don't have our graphics up yet and different things, right. but uh, this is this is where we can ensure that they're safe and well taken care of and Great. ready to go. Mike, pleasure. Right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate you seeing this. it. Really appreciate thank yeah, you thank you for what you do for, for for college basketball, college sports, because uh, without you and, and your, all your colleagues that show America how awesome intercollegiate athletics is, it gives us an opportunity really to grow the enterprise. So you thank got you. It. You got it. You're welcome. Thank you for thank all you. the Thank you. Good luck. We'll see you again. Thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah, thank you all very right. much.